A Russian developed mRNA cancer vaccine Enteromix is drawing global attention after showing 100% efficacy in three clinical trials particularly against aggressive forms like colorectal cancer While the results are promising it's important to note that these findings are limited to lab and animal models Human trials are of course still pending Well, if successful, Enteromix could signal a breakthrough in cancer treatment, shifting the field towards personalized, less toxic therapies. For countries like India, where cancer burden is very high and access to cutting-edge care is uneven, the impact could be very significant. Now, unlike traditional cancer vaccines, which have often been generic in design and limited in effectiveness, Enteromix is a little different. There are two major innovations. One, the personalized approach. Each vaccine is customized to the genetic profile of the patient's tumor, allowing for more precise targeting. Second, the mRNA technology. Using this platform, which was very similar to the COVID-19 vaccines, Interomix can be developed and adapted quickly for different cancer types, enabling scalability and faster deployment. If Enteromix moves successfully through clinical trials and regulatory approvals, it could reshape how we approach cancer treatment. Globally, a move away from broad, often toxic therapies like chemotherapy to safer, personalized immunotherapies could improve patient quality of life and outcomes. What is in it for us Indians? With cancers like colorectal and cervical ranking among the top causes of mortality, a vaccine that's both effective and personalized could be a game changer. If challenges around affordability, infrastructure and policy support are addressed. Well, the science of course is very exciting, but there are several hurdles that remain. First of all, pre-clinical success, 100% efficacy, does not guarantee real-world efficacy. Human trials are absolutely imperative. Personalized mRNA vaccines require genomic profiling, cold chain storage, specialized manufacturing. It is actually very difficult to scale this in low resource settings. Policy support, subsidies and equitable access strategies are going to be extremely crucial for us Indians here.